Roanoke had a special guest earlier this month, Olympic gold medalist Kristen Armstrong. She's back home right now in Boise, Idaho. But before she left, she went on a bike ride with 10 News anchor John Carlin to talk about her winning ambition, motherhood, and life after the Olympics. Today, we are going for a bike ride with three-time gold medal Olympic medal champion Kristen Armstrong. Let's go outdoors. Ready? Yep. All right, here we go. Riding bikes with Kristen Armstrong is like riding with royalty. Bike pathways. She won an Olympic gold in the time trial in Beijing in 2008, then again in London in 2012, then Rio in 2016. The most decorated female cyclist in U.S. history. So what is life like for a <laughs> three-time gold medalist now that that part of your life has sort of come and gone? <laughs> well, I think that when I look back at, at training and, and racing bikes, as much as I hate to say this, I think that was the easy life. <laughs> but even that life wasn't so easy, and it wasn't just the training. After Beijing, she retired to start a family. Her son, Lucas, is 12 now, but then... He was an infant. It was only about six weeks after having Lucas where I announced coming out of retirement. It was about 22 months before London. She recently explained at the annual dinner for Visit Virginia's Blue Ridge that she then had to break additional barriers. I mean, to travel with my family, to show up with my baby, <laughs> just so you know, it, it's not allowed. Kristen Armstrong has passed the Marianne Voss now. now it's On race day, she beat the world and won a number of other battles. Riding around Roanoke, I had to ask how the city stacked up cycling-wise. Oh my gosh, you can't beat the cycling around here. I was out on the Blue Ridge Parkway yesterday. How do you like our mountains? <laughs> oh yeah, they're great. They're very rolling. Armstrong hasn't slowed in the slightest since retiring from competitive cycling. She's coaching cyclists, has opened two gyms, travels the nation speaking, and serves as a high-performance consultant and mentor to the now Roanoke-based Team 2024, which, over its history, has produced 14 Olympians. You know, I would say that... Kristen Armstrong, breaking records, breaking barriers, and she still isn't finished. Outdoors, John Carlin... 10 News, working for you. And that story isn't complete. If you'd like to see the full-length version, sign up to be a WSLS 10 News Insider at WSLS.com, or you can watch it right now on 10 News Now.